So let's say um, a builder has two charges, depending on what he's going to be doing. He has charge one, which is for a floor, okay, so in order to put down um, flooring, put down carpet, something like that. And then he has job B, which could be uh, wallpapering or sorting out a wall. Okay. And he's employed so that he needs to do three floors and he also needs to do uh, four walls. So he's got three floors to do and four walls. Okay. Now, for each floor, he charges, um, let's say, £50. And for each wall, he charges £60. And I want to know how much this job is going to cost. And so we substitute these numbers in place of the A and the B. So instead of just having A, I now have three lots of £50, three lots of A, plus four lots of B, so four lots of £60. And then I add this together. So I've got three 50s, so that's £150. Four 60s are £240. So combining those two, I'm going to have £390 in total. So this is how we can use algebra to then substitute into what we could call a formula. So we could call this price 3A plus 4B, the combination of A's and B's. So that then leads on to, well, okay, well let's say he changes his price. Um, he's doing an offer on floors. So they're now £25, and he's doing an offer on uh, walls, and they're now £30. So now how much is he going to charge? Well, now we're putting £25 into this and £30 into this. So we've got three lots of £25 plus four lots of £30. Well, three lots of £25 is £75. Four lots of £30 is £120, so together we're now at £195. Okay, so it's exactly the same formula, it's just the numbers that I'm putting into the formula has changed. So now, instead of A's and B's, we could change this formula to be a cost is equal to 2x plus 5y, for example. So this is a formula. And let's say x is 7 and y is 2. And I need to know what c is going to be equal to. So I substitute these values into the formula. So c is 2 lots of x plus 5 lots of y. So that's 14 plus 10, so 24. Okay? So the formula is there um, as a standalone thing, and then you can change the values that you're putting in. That's what a formula is used to do. So, for example, um, area is base times height. For a rectangle. So if you know that the base is 10 centimetres and the height is 3 centimetres, then the area is the base times the height. So 30 centimetres squared. The formula doesn't change, it's the values that I'm substituting in that change. Let's look at one more example. Um, let's use a formula uh, such as this. V equals U plus AT. 
Okay, this is a formula that is used in kinematics. Um, but it works on the same principles. So if I tell you that u is equal to 5, and a is equal to 3, and t is equal to 10, then v is equal to u plus a times t, 3 times 10. So 5 plus 3 times 10, which is 35. So this is how a formula works. You're given the values to put in, and then you just need to work out what that missing letter is going to be, or that missing value. So the formulas that you're going to get aren't going to be too complicated, but just look out for uh, negative signs. Because if you're asked to substitute in a negative sign, like uh, let's say a is now minus 3, then this would be 5 plus minus 3 times 10, which is 5 take away 30, which is minus 25, okay? So when you're putting in the negative, make sure you adapt it into your solution.